I've uh, bought one of these uh, sunshades or shrouds for the Nav 6. Uh, only cost me 25 bucks on Amazon and um, just wanted to see if uh, you know it lives up to its promise of cutting down on the glare. Time is, uh, I don't know, 1.38 in the afternoon, so it's not the middle of the day, the, the sun isn't the highest right now, so mightn't be optimal for testing the protection against glare, but it'll have to do. The NAV6 in and of itself has a really great screen and uh, nice and bright and uh, works very well in the sunlight, but you know, Direct sun will still uh, make it uh, a little bit more difficult to see, so every little bit counts, and this was only $25, so it does make the, the setup uh, or the, the GPS look a little bit more darky, but uh, if it works, then it's worth it. Aside from that, it'll give a little bit more protection to the GPS screen anyway, just by having something there, uh, you know, Close, close to the screen can help to protect it against any flying objects that might be coming in from an angle and uh, also probably cut down on the amount of water that's going in there because the way it clips on it clips on behind the uh, uh, a ridge all around the GPS unit so any water that's hitting the top of it here will kind of run down and back wouldn't run across the screen, so it'll cut down on the amount of water on the screen too. Right now the sun is kind of behind me, which is, which is uh, where the glare would come. I don't know if you can see the picture. I've got the screen on auto, auto brightness, and uh, of course I can view the screen very nicely. Um, it does tend to to focus your eyes a little bit more on the screen and it cuts out any any light bleeding around from the sides, you know, so it does help. Uh, there is no sun directly impinging upon the GPS screen right now, so not too bad from that perspective. Not a good test uh, to see if, if, if it's going to wash out the image. It doesn't. can always turn it up, turn up the brightness if it's kind of washing it out, but uh, so far so good. Well, I've just left or left my parking spot here in Burroughs Park and uh, now heading on to do a little bit of shopping before returning home. Took some uh, shots all the sunshade for the GPS and uh, must say that uh, it so far seems to be okay um, one of the comments that I can make about this is that it would be nice if the sunshade itself was adjustable uh, in other words can tilt up you know tilt up or down a bit because uh, this windscreen can go up and down into the two positions there and back up and uh, it changes the angle of the GPS a little bit but not only that by having it at 90 degrees to the screen the top being at 90 degrees to the screen you have to change the angle of the GPS such that it is you know uh, straight to your line of sight which also means that it increases the reflections in the in the screen uh, which is one thing that uh, you know I don't know if the designers accounted for probably not uh, not for a $25 product uh, the NAV6 does have a very glossy screen so right now I'm looking at this I'm able to read my GPS but I'm seeing myself uh, in the image right now, I don't know if it'll come up in the video, but I'm seeing myself in the 
in the video right now. So what I used to do without the, uh, when I didn't have the shroud on, uh, is I would, you know, uh, change the angle so that it's pointing down a bit. Uh, that way I don't see the reflection of myself. So, the f because of that is where I would, uh, you know, if I were giving this thing uh, a star rating, I would knock, I would knock a star off for that. Um, I'm not saying that it's a bad product. No, it's not. It's a great product. I think that uh, in general, especially on a bright day, on a bright day you probably wouldn't uh, wouldn't see your own reflection that much. So if you're, uh, and I'm thinking of these, uh, you know, long 500 mile days that I do sometimes, uh, <laughs> starting in the morning, going right through into the evening, um, I usually see a lot of bright sunshine. Uh, those days, I think that it would it would uh, help quite a bit. But um, whether or not this is uh, a must-have accessory for the Nav 6, no. Uh, if you had a different GPS, maybe a Nav 4 or uh, I think a Nav 5, uh, you probably would benefit more from having a sunshade than if you have a nav 6. If you have a nav 6 you don't need it that much. I kind of understood that that would be probably the case for me uh, when I bought it. That's why I made, well, I, I made sure that I got uh, the cheap the cheap version. I don't know if you get the BMW version it probably costs like 50 or 60 bucks. I'd have to check that up but uh, this one was only 24 something uh, on Amazon, $25. Um, so, hey, if I take it off and only use it when I'm doing those long distance rides, then that'd be fine too. So that's it for the review of the Nav 6 or the GPS Navigator uh, Sunshade.